So in this video, I'm going to discuss a what if analysis that is similar to the one conducted in this paper, in this article uh, titled, Do Older Programmers Perform as Well as Young Ones? Published in the uh, journal Cognition, Technology and Work in 2018. And the problem here was that we, we tried to answer this question, but we used students to test uh, a model that we developed. And the problem was that when we looked at the data, we had um, ages varying between 19 and 54, so it's a good range, but work experience from zero to five years. And uh, the review panel for this article told us that um, this, this was due to the fact that we had students in our data set because with this range of ages, if we were to study professional programmers, uh, we would have a much wider range of uh, programming experience in our data set, potentially, uh, you know, 20 something uh, years instead of just five years. So we did a what if, what if analysis to address that. So we, we did not, uh, we, 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 we modified the data set or we modified the links in the model using analytic composites. And then we told the review panel this is what we think might happen if we had used um, uh, professional programmers instead of students. So we're gonna let me illustrate uh, what something similar to this, very similar, um, using this model. So here I have a model. Okay, so here I have a model where I have programming performance, performance and the programming task, being influenced by work experience and stress and age influencing these two variables. So these are two mediators that influence the relationship between or the mediate the relationship between age and performance. And again, what we have been told was that since we use students, this, the variation, the amount of variation in this variable was uh, suppressed compared to what would happen in professional environments. And therefore, we would have a much stronger relationship between age and experience and experience and performance in professional environments with professional programs, much stronger than what we found. We also found based on the data that age seems to be positively associated with stress, greater stress, maybe through higher cortisol levels uh, going up with age, and stress being negatively and strongly associated with performance. So if we looked at the total effect between age and performance, we, we found out that it was uh, negative. So the greater the age, the lower programming performance, but this was not actually significant. So it seems negative, but uh, it's closer to zero than, uh, than, than uh, to a negative but significant value. So how to address this problem? This is how we address in the paper. So first we uh, got uh, uh, effect sizes and uh, uh, likely correlations uh, from this uh, paper here. It's available from other places. This is uh, 
work done by Cohen. But this is one of the sources. Um, this, this paper titled Advanced Mediating Effects, Tests, Multigroup Analysis and Measurement Model Assessments in PLS-based SCM, published in the journal International Journal of Collaboration in 2014. And we got these values. So effect sizes, this would be a small effect size, medium and large. And so we we're interested in large effect sizes. And given that the effect sizes uh, in, in simple models, uh, they uh, approximate uh, the square root of uh, the correlation among the, the two uh, variables in a simple model. So the corresponding correlation that I would expect for an, a large effect size would be uh, 0.59. It could even be higher because this is the the, the uh, bottom limit for effect size. It could be higher and then higher correlation. So what we did was we, we tried to modify our model using analytic composites so that the correlations between this variable and this one, this variable and this one would be 0.59 or close to 0.59 by creating analytic composites that were consistent with the model. And the model assumes or the model states that uh, experience is caused by age and then experience causes performance. So let's see how we can do this. So the first step is, let me save this project in a different file so that I can preserve the original file. So, and let me actually save these results for our comparison. So here are the original results. So we'll start by we'll start by uh, saving the latent scores associated with each, with these two latent variables. Um, as standardized indicators. So I'll start then with uh, age. And experience. So now they've been added to my data set. Now I will create an analytic composite that I will use in place of experience, of the latent variable experience, there will be a combination of experience and age. And I expect that this new analytic composite will have an, a, a correlation with the latent variable age that is close to 0.59. So I will start with uh, 0.6, which is close to 0.59, and I got very close to that. Let me reduce a little bit. Bring it down to maybe 58. Yeah, that's close enough. 585. So that's close enough to 0.59. I will save this as a new analytic composite, as a standardized indicator. This is an analytic composite that will uh, replace experience in a model. So create. Now what I will do is add this to the model by replacing the current indicator, which was a measure of experience, with this new analytic composite. So notice that the analytic composite is not a totally new variable. It's the previous uh, variable experience 
But now, with its uh, correlation with age increased so that the effect size is large, uh, the effect size associated with this link, uh, to better reflect the, our what-if what scenario, which would be uh, of professional programmers. So now I'll redo my analysis. So now I have a stronger association between age and experience. Now what I will do is I will save, uh, I will save this new experience uh, latent variable with a different name. So now I have this and I will now create an analytic composite right? and I also need to add um, performance and I'll also add performance as a new standardized indicator that I can use to create an analytic composite. So now I will go to Again, creating analytic composites and instrumental variables. And now I will create a replacement for performance that will be a combination of performance and this new latent variable that measures experience. With weights that are different than before, so that this new uh, analytic composite has a correlation with experience that is 0.59. So I will get close to that 0.6. And in fact, in this case, I need to increase its weight a little bit to get uh, to 59. So now it's close enough. So. Uh, the correlation, this is the correlation uh, between uh, the, the uh, latent variable experience and performance in this new analytic composite that I'm creating using a combination of the current latent variable performance and the current latent variable that measures experience. So I'll create this analytic composite. That's going to be a replacement for performance. And now I'm going to go to my model. Edit that variable, remove its indicators and replace them with the new analytic composite that I just created. Let me just double check to see that, I, yes, I have the correct indicators. So I'll save my model and close. I'll redo my analysis. So now I have my results. And with these results, so I, as I can see now, uh, the this, this, this combined set here, this mediation is positive and it now competes more strongly with this mediation, which is negative because we have two path coefficients of different sign. And as we can see, the values are, are much higher here because I created them to be higher, have a higher uh, R squared. So, now, if I look at the total effect between age and performance, and now I have a total effect that is 0.25, and it is, in fact, statistically significant. So, what these new results of this what-if analysis tell us is that Presumably, if I had used professional programmers, 
uh, and the relationship between uh, uh, age and, and experience and experience and performance in professional programmers, uh, these, these relationships were uh, uh, associated with uh, large uh, effect sizes. Then I could say, uh, based on my study, that age is in fact positively associated in an indirect way, but positively associated with programming performance and not negatively associated, which uh, is, uh, or at least the time at, at the time of uh, the creation of this video and also at the time of the publication of the article, it, it was uh, sort of a, a, an expected uh, uh, thing because uh, th there is this there was this perception or maybe there is still this perception that programming is a young person's um, activity and uh, m that may not be the case so this is uh, what this what if analysis suggests may be the case of course it's not based on actual data but it could suggest what uh, results based on actual data could be and therefore calls for additional research. So this concludes uh, this demo on uh, what if analysis uh, using analytic composites using WarPLS.